Hi, I'm Dr. Joe DeMarco, chiropractor and owner of Ocrement Health. On today's video, I'm gonna go over some techniques on how to fix your knee pain. In particular, if you're having knee pain in the tendons in the front of the knee. Before we get into today's material, if you haven't done so already, Take a moment right now, subscribe to my channel, Ocrement Health on YouTube, click that little bell notification, it notifies you every time I upload a new video. And at the end of today's video, if you found the information useful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. So in today's video, we're gonna discuss how to treat knee pain when you're experiencing it in the front of the knee. And what we're talking about here is the tendon either right below the kneecap or the tendon above the kneecap, okay? So let's take a quick look at the anatomy so we know what we're talking about. Well, the tendon, Below the kneecap is known as the patella tendon. Above the kneecap is known as the quadricep tendon. So our quadricep muscles are in the front of the thigh. There's four quadricep muscles. We have the vastus medialis, the vastus lateralis, the vastus intermedius, and then the rectus femoris. Now these muscles, the, these four muscles, all con come, down the quad, come down the front of the thigh and they converge into a common tendon known as the quadricep tendon. And that's the tendon that's above the knee here, the above the kneecap. That tendon uh, encapsulates the patella, or what's known as the kneecap, and then the, that turns into what's known as the patella tendon that hooks into the front of the tibia or the shin bone, okay? So when you're working out and you're experiencing pain below the kneecap, it's because your patella tendon is inflamed. And if you're working out and you're feeling it above the kneecap, it's because your quadricep tendon is inflamed. So why do these tendons get inflamed? Well, tendons do not like to be tugged on. And why would a tendon get tugged on? A tendon gets tugged on when muscles lose their normal elasticity. So these quadricep muscles are just like any other muscle, they're very elastic, they're coming down the leg and they're forming into the tendon and then the tendon hooks, as I mentioned, into the, uh, the shin bone here. When we're working out and all is good in the world, these muscles of the quadriceps are nice and elastic, nice and stretchy. And when that's happening and muscles are nice and elastic, we don't get tugging on the tendon. However, in a real world, what happens over time from working out and wear and tear is we begin a buildup of what we call fascial adhesion, or, or people oftentimes call it, call it knots. We get knots in the muscle. Adhesions, or whatever you want to call it, or knots, or scar tissue, are very, is, is very non-elastic type of tissue in there. And so you lose that elasticity. And you can think of, uh, instead of having the quadricep muscle as this nice elastic band, I've tied some knots in it. Now when you tie knots in a band, you have less, it shortens the muscle and you have less elasticity. So if my quadriceps have some adhesion in them and they're coming down and they're attaching, and now I'm not getting the proper stretch through these muscles and the proper elasticity, what's going to happen as we do uh, different exercises and we do different uh, different things, we're going to start to get tugging. And where is the tugging? It's going to start tugging on the tendons, whether it's a quadricep tendon or the patella tendon. And when, knee, when tendons get tugged on, they get inflamed. And that inflammation is the pain that you're feeling when you're working out. So what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to go over some techniques on how to treat this, how to get rid of some of this inflammation, and how to break down and, and release the adhesions that are in your quadricep muscles. Okay, so we're going to do some fascia release work on the quadricep muscles. All you need to do is just grab, get next to a door jam. You're going to need a massage ball. This is a Tai Chi Max ball from Ocrement Health. Notice the, uh, the spikes on this ball. This is going to dig deep into the tissue. Can you use a tennis ball? Can you use a lacrosse ball? Yes. Is it as effective? No. The spikes are going to dig into the tissue much deeper as opposed to a smooth uh, lacrosse ball that's going to just hit another smooth surface of the muscle. You will stimulate blood flow, but you're not going to get the same result as if you have something that's spiky that can dig deeper into the tissue, okay? So how are we going to do this? I would recommend if you have shorts on, to roll up the shorts, you want to get the ball directly. I would like to see the ball directly on the skin. So make sure you have a pair of shorts that you can kind of pull up and get the ball on the skin. Start low. We have four quadricep muscles, remember. So we have to make sure we're going to put the ball on the inside, the outside, low, up high. So we're going to move it around in a lot of different spots. The technique you're going to use is get the ball, and let's start low first. Get the ball on the quadricep. Get it up against the door jam. Now I'm gonna lean my body into it. I'm gonna get as much pressure onto the, um, onto the ball as I can so those spikes are digging into the tissue. When I feel like I have nice firm pressure on it, I'm then gonna bend the knee, and then as the foot comes up, I'm gonna grab it, 
and I'm going to keep pushing in as I stretch the muscles. So I'm just going to bring the heel right up to the buttocks. And the whole time I'm just pushing my weight into the ball. I'm just going nice and slow. I'll hold it for about five or six seconds. And then I'm going to let it come all the way down. And I'm going to move it in quite a few spots, as I mentioned. So what are we doing when we do that? So we're getting the, the, the spiky ball digging into the tissue. And then by bringing the heel up to the buttocks, we're elongating the, the fiber. So we're trapping the tissue with the ball and then we're stretching that muscle out and we're going to break up any adhesions that are in that, in that tissue. And that's how we're going to do it. And we're going to move it into quite a few spots. Now, if you come across a spot that feels like you can really feel a knot, what I would do on that is get in here so I feel a knot right in that spot here. Spend about 60 seconds where you push into the ball and you kind of dig it around. It goes side to side, up and down, all different directions for about 60 seconds and really kind of dig at that knot if you really feel a good sized knot in there. And then after you do that 60 seconds worth of digging around with the ball, then get to the point where you bring the leg up, pull the heel to the buttocks, hold it for five or six seconds, and let it come down and maybe on an area where you really feel a good knot maybe do that several times okay so that's how we're going to do it we're going to attack it from all different areas you're going to make several or quite a few different movements through there because you want to hit the, the quadriceps from low all the way up high um, and that technique you can leave it a little sore but that's okay i would do it every day however if your quadriceps are real tender from the treatment then skip a day Okay, after you do your work with the ball and you get and you break up the, the adhesions in there and you get a ton of blood flow, we're gonna end with a nice fascial release type of stretch. So I've done all my work on my, on my quadricep. By the way, if the problem with your knee is on the right, still do the fascial release work on both sides, okay? You may wanna spend a little more time on the problem side, but it's good to work both sides. So I've done all my work. I've used the ball against the door jam. I've done all this fascia release work on my quadricep. Now I'm gonna give it a good fascia release type of stretch. So I'm gonna have my left leg forward. I'm gonna hook my right foot onto something, whether it's a bench, I'm using my squat rack. And you're gonna think of two things on this stretch. One is I'm gonna sink down into like a lunge position. So I'm gonna go down and go down till you feel a nice stretch. Like I said, the rectus femoris, crosses the hip joint. So this position here where my hip is in extension, I have a nice stretch on the rectus femoris. The knee's bending, so I'm stretching the other quadricep muscles as well. Once I get as deep as I can, then I'm gonna keep my torso up and I'm gonna lean back. So I'm gonna try to bring my heel to my buttocks. So I'm sinking down and then back. And now we're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. It's a very intense stretch. I like to do this after the fascia release work so there's a lot of blood in there. This isn't a stretch you wanna do when you're cold. It's a good way to get injured. So make sure you do this after the fascia release work. Blood is in the tissue and it's a safe time to do it. 30 seconds, I'm gonna come back up and I'll do it three times. So do three times on the right, three times on the left. When you're done, the quadriceps should be nice and loose. It's gonna restore elasticity. This isn't gonna happen overnight. So don't, doing one treatment is not gonna fix adhesions in your quadriceps that are tugging on your tendons, but I would start doing this over the next four to six weeks, and you should each week notice increased elasticity, decreased tugging on the tendons, which is gonna result in less and less and less pain on the knee. All right, I hope you found the information in today's video helpful. Give it some time, give, do some work on it. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below after you've done some work on, on your quadriceps and on your knee, and let me know how, how it's working out for you, okay? If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel, Okra Med Health on YouTube. Questions about exercises or injuries, just leave a comment in the comment section down below. I do the best to get that I can to get back to everybody. And don't forget, Okra Med Health is here to keep you fit forever.